Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for today, whatever day you watch this, okay? Um, I'm recording it on the 23rd, but it's for whenever you watch this. Um, I already did this. I started it, okay, with this, just this deck. I didn't break into that deck. And um, a few cards came up, and it just felt like it was my own situation, so I decided to do it again. We'll see what happens. This is for whoever it's meant to be for. Um, daily energy. For the collective, please. For the collective. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Mm -hmm. I'll shut that off in just a second. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And on the bottom. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Interesting. So let me just shut this phone off. Otherwise, we'll, we'll get to hear that. Um, <laughs> it's safe for you to love. No way. So anyway, make the effort. Let go of control issues. Release your ex. It is safe for you to love. That is a pretty strong message, don't you think? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Really? That's a scary thought. Here we go. Oh, jeez. They just flew out. Yikes. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and the Eight of Cups reversed. There's an opportunity for love here with the Two of Cups. Somebody may be thinking about going back or thinking about walking away. It could go either way. Either way, somebody is thinking about a, a love connection. Okay, it's on the mind. Love is on the mind. That's for damn sure. Um, make Needing to make that decision. The decision needs to be made. Do you go back or not? Do you want this connection? Or do you move forward into a new connection? It can go either way. Somebody is thinking about love. I mean, it's all cups. I'm thinking about love is heavy. It's heavy. It's on the mind. Ooh. Oh my God. It, you know, there's a message of love coming perhaps. Cupid is trying to bring two people together. Okay, so you could be receiving a welcome and unexpected message of love. Or you could be giving, giving a, a message of love. Opening your heart. This is making the decision to do so. I want love. I want this partnership. We're going to zoom this in in just a minute. Judgment. Judgment call. Somebody is woken up. I'm awake. I'm ready to, you know, accept the truth perhaps or speak the truth. This is the truth coming out. This could be a reconciliation. I need to make sure that you guys can see these cards. Oh, you don't, it's doing pretty good, isn't it? I'll focus it in better after. But with the judgment card, there's a, there's a new awareness. There's, somebody's had some epiphany about love, about opening their heart, about, you know, where love lies on their agenda, put it that way. You know, it's like love is now a big part of their desires. I want love. I want love. Love is definitely at the forefront today. So, forgiveness. 
forgiveness. Judgment is a card of forgiveness. So this could definitely be a reconciliation. It could be. Somebody may be deciding to make the effort because this is a great love, perhaps. Justice. Justice is about to be served in regards to a partnership. Somebody is going to do the right thing. Somebody is going to act with integrity to bring balance. I'm rubbing my heart. I'm seriously rubbing my heart in circles right now. I just know I'm serious. I wish you could see it. Oh my God. So somebody is going to be acting out of their heart. All right, that's that's a clear message. My hand just went right to my heart, and I've been rubbing it just in a circle. Crazy shit. Anyway, um, somebody is going to be acting out of their heart. Their heart is speaking to them. There's there's no doubt about it. Somebody is making a decision as well. A decision is being made in regards to love. Okay, whether it's a new love or a reconciliation or not, but there is a some sort of of uh, action being taken okay somebody is about to make some sort of choice they've changed they've evolved they're ready to make some compromises they're ready to come together stepping outside of their ego you know i just want to be happy this is this is the card of ego the five of swords and when it's reversed, it's like, you know, I don't need to prove myself anymore. Now I just want to be happy. I'm ready to be just be happy. Somebody is seriously wanting to bring balance back to their lives. They're seeking balance. You know, taking a risk, it's a gamble. It is. I'm ready to take this risk. It is a gamble, but I think that somebody is is maybe deciding, you know what, this is this is more important. This love connection is more important than my ego, than my pride, because this is reverse. It's like I'm stepping outside of my ego. I have made the decision that this is what I want. I'm ready to take a risk. I just said risk with this card. Yeah, it is a gamble. It is. It is. So I feel like somebody is is going to have a new beginning. Somebody is, is, is on the verge of a brand new beginning here, a brand new journey. Somebody uh, may be wanting to start over to, you know, somebody may be coming to ask for forgiveness. I mean, I, you know, I know that there's a lot of people that won't do that. So don't get your hopes up and think that this reading is absolutely for you. I mean, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but, you know, so this reading is for somebody but it will not be for every single person. I have to throw that out there. Because some people, you know, their ego is so big that they cannot step out of it. And they will not apologize. And they will not um, open their heart and make that effort to love. I mean, some people will never get there. Some people will. So you really got to use your own logic and intuition. This This reading could be for you. I'm not sure who this is for. But I do see that... There is some karma at work here with the with the justice card and the judgment card. And somebody has had an awakening. Somebody has had some sort of awakening. They have done a lot of healing work. They have changed. They have also evolved. You know, they're not the same person that they used to be. And I feel as though there, there could be a message coming in that says, you know, I love you. I love you. That could be the case. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness, okay, and wanting to start over, wanting a new beginning, okay? Somebody is going to make the effort, okay? On another note, somebody has an opportunity for new love, okay? This could be a new love, and they have to take a risk. Cupid is here, and they are trying to bring, or he or she or whoever Cupid is, is trying to bring somebody together, two people together in union. They are trying to bring two people together for a fresh new start. That's what this is. You know, there's been a time of being left out in the cold. So for a lot of you, this is a reconciliation. Somebody has been left out and, and there has been no communication because ego was such such a big factor in this scenario. It really was. 
but somebody has taken the time to evolve and change and and has taken the time and really to think about love you know where where love plays a part in their life so anyway i feel like today is a day where somebody may make that decision to to go after what they want to take the steps that leads them towards this beautiful union and you know, so anyway, I feel like somebody may be taking a risk today to to open their heart, you know, to offer that love. Because this is the Ace of Cups. This Page of Cups is offering love, a new beginning in love. And, you know, it could lead to happiness. It could. Um, but their forgiveness will be a part of this. Forgiveness will be needed on on both sides if this is a reconciliation. Okay, there will be forgiveness. Um that is needed but i do see a major new beginning here if somebody can let go of the control issues in and just allow it to be you know I'll take the risk take the risk yes it is a gamble but there's also love okay so you know if this is new love or a reconciliation there's fear there is fear because we have this it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all somebody is afraid afraid to love so anyway, today is a day perhaps of, of a new beginning in which you are being asked to, to take a risk, to have faith, to not bring the past with you. This is, these are both. This one doesn't bring the past and this is releasing the past. Don't bring the past with you, the past baggage, the past hurts. If you have a start over, you really, really, really start over. That means you start over without bringing that past bullshit with you. You know what I'm saying? So there's an opportunity for a beautiful union here. There is. If you can allow it to unfold. Allow yourself to be happy. Allow this love to... Come to you. Allow it. Master your emotions. Replace that fear with faith. Somebody could be coming to your house or sending you a message. You know, they, this could be a message because this is a message or actually this, this could be a vehicle. You know, this is like a, you know, a chariot. It's a vehicle. It is. So somebody could be coming to your house making the decision to go after what they want. You could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Sagittarius, an Aries. You could be dealing with any sign. But it feels as though somebody is, is headed in a new direction. They've made a decision that this is what I love, this is what I want, this is, I want love and I'm going to head in that direction. For some of you... It will be about releasing your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and move on to somebody new. This card can also signify releasing the the ex baggage. Okay? Because there is... This, this fool card is a new beginning where you don't bring the past with you. If there's a reconciliation with an ex, you have to release that old energy. You do. You have to just let that go. You know, don't bring, if you're going to have a do-over, if you're going to have a start over, it needs to be a fresh start. Like, brand new, like, courting the whole night. You start from the beginning. Don't start where you left off. You start from the beginning. This is the beginning. It's a new journey. Brand new. None of the, the past is dead. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, and that is, the past is dead. It's a, it's a new beginning. So anyway, there's an opportunity for love here if somebody can allow themselves to go with it. I mean, make the effort. It's safe for you to love. Let go of control issues. Allow it. Let, let it go. Let go of the fear. Let go of the guard. Put the shield down. So, yeah, I feel as though there is an opportunity for a soulmate connection where somebody is about to make 
make a decision. To open their heart. That's what I have. So, yeah, that's what today is about. Today is about perhaps somebody headed in your direction, whether it's via vehicle or message, you know, there's going to be some sort of risk that needs to be taken. You know, it's a risk. I see a risk here. You would have to take a risk. So it's up to you if you can master your emotions and replace fear with faith. And that's what this day is about, truly. It's about replacing that fear with faith to allow love in. So yeah, that's what I have for today. Bye.